Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan. Uh, we, uh, this is not a weekly update. This is just an introduction uh, to a little bit of video I'm, I shot, and I really didn't give any good descriptions of it, but this is just kind of an intro into what you're going to be looking at. Uh, we're going to go revisit uh, Huntington Memorial Hospital. Uh, this is where we put a, uh, a water wash spray booth down in the basement where we had to take the tank down in pieces, weld it together, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we're putting additional equipment on it. And what you're going to be looking at is a centrifuge. Uh, it's also known as a micro separator. Uh, what it does is it removes paint solids from the water uh, with centrifugal force. So uh, let's go take a look at the micro separator and the installation and uh, everything we had to do to get that, uh, uh, that centrifuge installed. And uh, I'll bring you back and then maybe we'll go into a little bit of uh, centrifuge theory uh, on, on what it takes to uh, get one of these in operation and why we need it in operation. All right, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the job site. And back in the basement of Huntington Memorial Hospital. And a lot of you guys remember this job. Uh, water wash spray booth. Currently the tank is empty. But what we're installing is an accessory, uh, which is a centrifuge. This is a uh, 3600 RPM motor. And it's got belts and drives down below. And it comes up into this bowl. And uh, this, this is a stainless steel bowl. And uh, with, the, with the pulley ratio and everything, the bowl spins about about 4,000 or 4,200 RPM. Inside it is a rubber bag. And uh, what they do is we're bringing in uh, washer water here in the center. And it drops down into this, it drips right in the center of this bowl as it's spinning. And uh, any, any solids or any heavy waste gets, gets spun and cling to the outside of the bowl. Uh, any waste water as it fills, flows over the top comes out this drain. That's a three inch drain and that's got to get back to tank via gravity. We're using this pump to feed the system and to agitate the tank. So we're going to be cutting a bulkhead into the side of that tank. Right there. Uh, cutting a bulkhead in there, putting in a valve, going into the inlet of that pump, coming out of the outlet of the pump feeding the centrifuge with a small amount of water. That centrifuge is good for uh, 10 gallons a minute. And then the rest of it's gonna go back to the tank and we're gonna use that for agitation, to agitate the tank and keep the sludge uh, suspended so the centrifuge can get a hold of it. Uh, inside the lid there's two tubes. This is the feed line. This is where we're gonna drip in uh, 10 gallons a minute into the centrifuge. Uh, this is gonna, this siphons off the top. This is, this is facing the same way as rotation. So as the centrifuge is running, this returns to tank as well under a small amount of pressure, like four or five PSI. So feed line, return line, gravity drain. But that is the, uh, that's the nature of a centrifuge and a feed pump. Something there. Mm -hmm. I did, I did. Yes. 
Mechanicals all done. Uh, that's a, that's our suction pipe right there. That's the suction side of the pump. That's a four inch, and it goes to that bulkhead fitting. And we've submerged, submerged it, and it's been underwater for 24 hours. And then we've got all our other bulkheads in. Uh, this little one is a skimmer line. This big one here is the main uh, main dump for the centrifuge to come back. And that big dog there is the. Uh, is the main suction for the agitation pump and the return line for the agitation pump is in the back of the tank and I'll, you'll only be able to see that from out there so let me go around there and I'll show you uh, there's the agitation pump centrifuge three inch drain flex line centrifuge is mounted on uh, uh, vibration isolator so everything that goes to the centrifuge has to be in flex so you get a little bit of Tygon hose there and then that drain runs around and dumps back above the water level uh, two feed lines in the into the centrifuge here on top this one's a skimmer this is returning to tank uh, this is the feed that uh, actually supplies the centrifuge uh, you only want to give the centrifuge 10 gallons a minute and that feed line comes off of that little offset there and that's going down off of the pump. And here I'll open up the centrifuge here. Unlatch this. And there's the bowl there. There's a rubber bag inside. And you can see the impellers. And this, uh, this guy just spins. And in the center fitting the water dribbles in dead in the center of it. And uh, this here is the actual skimmer. And as the centrifuge is rotating, it skims the water off the top of the bowl. It sits right down inside the bowl right here. That's what skims off. And uh, this, this line here is actually under about 5 PSI for the pressure. And this line here is what's running back into there to spit back into the tank. Okay. So there's our main suction. Uh, long radius elbow. Uh, isolation valve, pump, and then your feed line running up and to the back of the washer. And there's another bulkhead fitting there. And inside that runs down to the bottom of the tank and uh, runs across and uh, sweeps the bottom of the tank to keep the sludge stirred up. And I don't know, you can see if I drop my phone in the water, we're in deep trouble. And you can just barely catch the corner of that pipe going across, but that runs the full width of the tank across there. Alright. But uh, this very simple water wash system sure got complex. There's a plumber's nightmare. Alright, I'll shoot a little more tomorrow after we get the centrifuge running. final here on our centrifuge. Our skimmer is skimming and our overflow is overflowing and our agitator is agitating. And our centrifuge is centrifuging and uh, that limit switch right there is actually hooked up uh, so it, it basically kills the system. It's gonna it's gonna shut down the agitation pump. 
That's that big felon gossip down there. It's going to turn off the agitation pump uh, and the centrifuge all at the same time. Now what it's going to do is it's going to take a while for the centrifuge to wind down. And typically what they would do is, is turn it off over the remote and then wait for it to spool down and uh, look at it. But I know you guys want to see what a centrifuge looks like at 4,000 RPM. So let's take a look. So there's a, a bowl spinning and you can see the overflow in the main drain right there. That's where the, the water spins off the top of the bowl. And that bowl looks really empty right now. I'm going to shine a light down in there. Look, you see how empty that looks? I'm just going to slow down my hand and show you. Wow, look at that. It's really full. Well, that's all the water and crap that has been slung to the outside of that bowl. So now that our bowl is uh, completely stopped. And uh, to clean the bowl, there's a, there's a rubber condom bag inside. They undo these four screws, lift the lid off, clean the bag out, take it over to the sink, wash it out, clean it, whatever. Replace the bag, lid back on, and uh, close up here. And uh, it's a collapsible circuit, so they're going to have to go back over and reapply the start button. But the system is now enabled by closing this switch and uh, they can get their centrifuge back into operation uh, after a cleaning. So uh, that's it for this, you know, our, our bulkhead fittings went in good. Uh, everything went in really clean, no leaks anywhere. So uh, centrifuge done, on to our next project. Now we're back and uh, you know, that, that's a pretty typical installation. That's just a manual separator and we use uh, uh, centrifuges to extract all kinds of things from water uh, in flame spray applications uh, where they're spraying molten zinc and the overspray is actually zinc particles uh, we remove the, the, uh, the zinc particulate from the water with a centrifuge and uh, the zinc sludge that comes out of the centrifuge actually has value people actually buy the zinc so it, it, that does uh, have value uh, we remove an unspeakable amount of really disgusting material from uh, beer over at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery Company. Uh, they've got uh, centrifuges over there running beer through them and the stuff they pull out of beer is completely disgusting and be glad it doesn't land in the beer but it is heavier than the beer so the centrifuges are used to extract it. Uh, this is a paint application. We're, we're removing paint solids from the water to uh, lower the viscosity level of the water and reduce the sludge buildup within the system. So there's all kinds of uses for a centrifuge. But uh, there you saw a very typical installation and uh, a very practical use. Uh, and this is gonna, there's money savings involved for the customer, they don't have to do water changes as often. And uh, they're, they're very precisely removing uh, the paint solids uh, from the uh, from the water. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, have a good week, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.